All right, what is up, FPG fam? Further here. Now, we have Cobalt B coming on October 6th within the next couple of days here, which is extremely exciting. And we have patch 2.0 for Vera officially being announced to release on October 20th. Now, with Vera being officially released on October 20th, that has an active conversation going on within the community. And one that I wanted to discuss with you guys because I find it to be very interesting and I want to see what you guys have to say. And the active conversation going on right now and the topic at hand and is who's going to be the first banner in patch 2.0 after cobalt b people want to know and people have been speculating now with that being the case there are two suspects on the table for who could be first in patch 2.0 the first suspect is ruby herself and the second suspect is Linye. now the reason for that is because there are some information and some things pointing to either or and i'll be upfront and transparent with you i have no clue who it's going to be but i have my own speculations that i want to talk with you all and once again i found this to be very interesting and something fun that we can discuss for ourselves in this video and in the comment section down below so if you do enjoy today's video go ahead and drop a like and sub if you're new greatly appreciate it means the world to me and i would love to have you be a part of the fbg fam and stick around we always have a good time here right we have a good time anyways let's go ahead and get into the topic so who's going to be first ruby or lynn once again i'm not entirely too sure but i have my speculations now there is evidence pointing to either or like i mentioned before now the first piece of evidence is Linye. Now, people think that Linye is going to be the first banner in patch 2.0 because apparently there have been some voice leaks or some audio of Lin, as well as her being the kind of poster child for everything that we've been seeing Vera related. If you take a look at all the trailers, if you take a look at the advertisement, Lin is at the forefront. And, but I think the reason being is because I believe the individuals at Hoda Studios or the developers of Tower Fantasy understand how marketable and how popular and how sought after Linye is as a simulacra and as a character in this game I mean you have to admit she has one of the best designs in the game I think everybody knows how many people want Linye and how popular she is I think it's no secret so in my opinion from a markability standpoint it would make sense to throw her in front especially when it comes to patch 2.0 and vera to have her at the forefront have her in all the trailers and all the posters and advertisements so uh it makes sense to me but people are thinking that is the reason why lynn is going to be first that and the audio and the voice lines right makes sense okay but there is a counter argument to be made for ruby being first and that's who i believe it's going to be i believe it is going to be ruby that's going to be first in patch 2.0 now this is coming from a very credible source that i do trust and they state or they quote that ruby is more ready for release than lynn now to me that just says that ruby is good to go ruby is ready to be in the game and ruby is going to be the first one in patch 2.0 it makes sense right and i believe that would be the case and others have made or brought up the point that linye was more in 2.1 so linye would be a little down the road maybe even after saki fuhua so it could be ruby then saki fuhua and then lin but we all know on the global side that they have been switching up the banner orders they've been doing things on their own terms and it's different from the cn version so it could very well be ruby lin and then possibly saki or it could be lin ruby and then saki or they could just throw a curveball and do saki first and then do ruby lin or they could do serious first who knows right who really knows but i believe it's going to be ruby first and then possibly linye and then saki or vice versa with saki and linye so it's just one of those situations where we'll just have to kind of wait and see we'll have to get some more information probably have to wait until the live stream which is going to be on the 13th of october which is exciting um cannot wait for that live stream because it'll be what the official first one for global that'll be really cool to see and then we'll probably get an idea of the banner order and what's going to be coming i mean ruby is in some of those posters as well so i believe it's going to be ruby some believe it's going to be linye but either way this is just bad news for cobalt b whether it be linye or whether it be ruby first it doesn't really matter this just doesn't bode well for cobalt b in my opinion and once again let me know what you guys think down in the comments below but i think cobalt b is just in a really bad position when it comes to these banner releases because 
you have cobalt b as a flame element coming with the flame resonance we don't know what's going to be happening with ruby now let's say linye is first now first and foremost linye is a cornerstone for most teams if not all teams you're going to want linye so if you go for cobalt b and then you have Lin Ye right after. Well, you're going to want Lin Ye for the Flame team as well. It's just very difficult for free-to-play players or light spenders, whether it's going to be Ruby or Lin Ye. I don't think it matters because you're going to want both of them for your Flame team. So Flame mains are just in a difficult position. And Cobalt B is just in a bad position. But let's say, for example, Lin Ye is after Cobalt B. Well, the recommendation that I've been making here on the channel is that wait and see what ruby is going to be on the global side the rebalances that's going to happen is ruby going to come with the flame resonance well if linye's next you're not going to have the opportunity to see that with ruby if she's going to come with the flame resonance or not so you're just going to have to pull the trigger on cobalt b and take a risk which is unfortunate in my opinion i i think that's extremely unfortunate but if ruby's next then you do have the ability to see what ruby is going to be and how ruby is going to be rebalanced and to see if she comes with the flame resonance and then you can make a decision on if you want to go for cobalt b or not because if ruby doesn't come with the flame resonance then i think cobalt b is an absolute pickup because she has the flame resonance and then you grab yourself ruby and then linye i mean it's going to be difficult either way but at least you would have that foresight at least you would know but if ruby is not the next one after cobalt b and it's lin then you're just going to have to take a risk. I think you have to go for Cobalt B. I, I don't see... I. It's tough. You may just have to take a risk and not go for Cobalt B and then just hope Ruby comes with the Flame Resonance. I, I don't know. And then maybe skip Cobalt B, grab yourself Lin, grab yourself Ruby. Hopefully you have enough Dark Crystals and Red Nucleus. It's tough either way. And I think Cobalt B is the one that's taken the, the biggest hit on this because she's just in a bad position. She she really is. And it's unfortunate because I think Cobalt B is such a cool character. I think she's going to be good. I think she's going to be a, you know, a, a simulacra that's going to do her job well. I, I think she's going to be a, the shield breaker, the flame resonance, do do some pretty decent damage. Um but if Linye's next and Ruby's after, I think you might have to take the risk of uh, either skipping Cobalt B or taking the risk of grabbing her because of missing out on the Flame Rest. And it's who knows. I would probably opt to skip. If you're asking me for my recommendation, and thank you for asking. I, I know you guys like to know what I think. Um, I would probably skip Cobalt B and try and get her from the standard banner if she does go in the standard banner hope Ruby comes with the flame resonance pick yourself up Lin Ye, save for Ruby and and kind of go that way hopefully Saki Fuhua is in the middle somewhere for my flame mains to kind of break it up a little bit because it's it's difficult to have uh, those elements back to back and and have your whole team be essentially back to back to back so anyways guys I know this was a different kind of video this was more of like an open discussion with you all let me know if you like these type of videos like let me know if you guys would want to have more videos like this where we kind of just talk about things and i get your opinions and we kind of discuss it in the comments down below but anyways i'm gonna get on out of here let me know what you guys think and uh i love and appreciate each and every one of you remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody but you can call me further i'll see you all in the next one bye guys